Okay, in this um, video, we are going to take a look at how to search an array. So we've talked about integer arrays, how to store elements in an array. We've talked about how to pass um, arrays to functions. And in this, we're going to see how to search through an array. So the array is not sorted. So if you look through it, I have one function called search, and I pass the array to the function. And if we go down, Here, um, I have the array declared, initialized to 0. It's an integer array. I have an i and I have a max um, equals 0. I'm not sure I'm quite using the max, so if we don't need it, I might delete it. Um, yeah, I don't think we are using max, so get rid of max. Okay, then I have um, a variable called char. We'll see where we use that variable called option, uh, char data type. So we read 10 numbers. We um, output, the, output the list to the user. Then we're going to search for a number. So the way we search for a number is we call a function. And we call the function, notice inside my if statement, and say if search of list. That means if search of list returns a true, so my search function is a boolean function that takes the array and returns it true or false. So in here I have a variable called search number and I tell the user enter the number to find. I read it into search number and we simply go through the loop through the list all the way from 0 to cap. Notice we always say less than cap not less than or equal to. And we search if list of i, which means if the number in the list is the same as the search number, then we simply return true. We break out of the loop. When we return, we break out. And if not, we go back to the loop and continue the search. And if we come out of the for loop here without finding anything, then we return false. So that's how the function works. Then we go up here and how we use it. So if this function call returns a true, then we say number found. Else we say number not found. And I also have a do while loop here that says, well, maybe we want to continue searching in our list. So it says, do you want to continue? And that's where I'm using the option. Notice I say yes or no. Tell the user that they can enter Y or N for yes or no. And I read the option. Um, that they enter into the char variable and I have this do while loop so the do while loop if we recall executes the loop at least one time so it executes the loop one time and then it checks the option if the option is equal to yes then it keeps going it keeps um, repeating the search so if we don't find it the first time maybe we entered it wrong maybe we want to do it again so if we run it it says enter 10 whole numbers to build the list first so let's build our list So there is our list. It says enter number to find. So if I say 45, it says number found. Do you want to continue? Yes. Maybe I search for another number. Uh, number not found. And then if I say no, it should be done. So that's searching. Now, of course, in this case, if we enter a number that doesn't exist in our list, our search function is going to go through the whole list anyway and search for it. So these are some things that we can um, make more efficient by doing a sort instead of just storing the numbers as is and trying to search or do any operations on it without sorting, which calls for more work. So we will see sorting in, um, in the next few videos. We will talk about selection sort.